Hi everyone, the guys over at Raising Teens have asked if I would jump on here today to try and uh, empower some advice um, from my experience of dealing with creative writing and the benefits that it can have to your mental health. You know, so at the time that we're in, you know, everyone's on lockdown at the moment across the UK and wider afield across the globe. And, you know, we're all having to make do with what we've got at this point in time. You know, we are all dealing with our struggles each day in terms of our mental health, our anxiety, stress, fear, you know, all of these different emotions that are going through our minds at the moment. And so I wanted to come on here today just to talk to you very briefly about the power of creative writing. You know, a lot of you um, might find that you find creativity and how useful it is to yourself in terms of expressing your emotions, whether it's music, writing, art, you know, um, sport. Um, and the one thing about sport, obviously, is that we're struggling to get out. We can't really go out at the moment. So we're having to make do with the space and the confinement that we've got at this point in time. So one thing that I want to urge you to do is find a pen, a paper, a safe space within your house or your flat or wherever you are and just take yourself away for 10-15 minutes or even longer. You know, sit down at a desk or on your bed or wherever it is and just think about the emotions that you have at this point in time. You know, is it anxiety? Is it fear? Is it sadness? You know, close your eyes for 10 seconds, breathe in and out and then make a start with writing something. You know, it could be a journal. So you can actually start today documenting your feelings each day and how you are, you know. And it doesn't have to be every day, it could be once a week. But what I would urge you to do is to just initially close your eyes and think about those feelings that you have and put them onto paper. How will that make you feel after getting all of these thoughts out of your head, you know. I remember writing an art article for the Guardian newspaper about the murder of my father and, you know, I hadn't talked about it for years. And then all of a sudden I'd opened this Pandora's box of, of emotions and fear and sadness and grief that I had. Um, but one thing I found was that from going from that point, I was able to sit down and use these emotions in my head for good in terms of helping myself and my mental health. So if I was you, get a pen and a paper, creative writing could be something that will help you. Um, if it isn't, then put music on and think about the music that you most like, you know. Close your eyes for those points in time and just breathe in and out those emotions that you have. Um, but for me and today, and as an author, I'm coming on here just to say give creative writing a try at this point in time. Try and take yourself away into a bedroom or a room somewhere in the house if you can, just to take those moments to um, express your feelings at this point in time. Forget about grammatical, um, you know, skills at this point in time. You're not at school, you're at home. So just feel free to express yourself. So I hope that helps with you all. Stay safe, stay in, um, and, uh, and hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.